Hi there, I'm going to show you how to kind of play Bottles um, by a shell in the pit, or a pit in the shell, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but either way, uh, it's close, I'm not sure if it's 100% perfect. If you want perfection, I suggest you use this as a guide, and then you, you chase it on your own. Um, what we have here is basically four chords and we're creating these four chords using only three strings and really only three notes okay so the first um, and everything here is in standard tuning you can see there's no capo no no fancy business it's all standard tuning on the guitar okay um, so I'm playing seventh fret of the G and the B and fifth fret of the high E and that creates this chord okay if you're wondering what kind of chord that is, that's basically, we have here on the 7th fret of the G, that's a D note. Right, so that's a D, and then on top of that we have the 3rd, so it's a, uh, right, major 3rd. And then up here, the A note is the 5th of D, so it's really just a D major chord. Okay? Now move that G string down one fret to the 6th fret of the G, and we have 6th fret of the G, 7th fret of the B, 5th fret of the high E. And that might be a familiar shape to you, it looks like a D minor-ish sort of shape, right? But in reality, in, in this context, it's like you're taking a major chord, and then you just lower the, the root note down one fret. So really this is like a D major with a D flat in the bass or a C sharp, whatever you want to call it. C sharp and the bass D chord is really what it is. Right? So that's what it sounds like. All of a sudden I'm playing TLC. Scrub is a guy to be but Anyway, uh, so we have that chord. So we have the C sharp and the bass with a D major chord. And then the next chord, chord number three, I think it's not, I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I'm playing basically, imagine you're playing um, a D major chord, like an open chord, but take off the second fret of the G. So you're really only using your first finger and your middle finger, and you're just playing an open G, third fret of the B string, second fret of the high E, and that is actually like a G major 7-ish chord. Okay, so that's chord number three, I think. And then chord number four is this one. It's the easiest one of all, which is just bar the second fret of the G, B, and high E. Okay? And... In fact, every time we're going to slide, it's actually to another chord. So I'll show you right now. So the idea is doing this. Okay, it might seem like a lot, but it's really, we're only working on three strings of the guitar here. We're not working on any other string. Okay, so imagine the other three are not even there. We're just using the G, B, and the high E. So what I'm doing here is this kind of finger picking. And then I do a pull off 7th fret to the 5th fret on the high E. And I do it with my pinky, like that, so. And then we slide up to this chord, and then we come back down. This other slidey chord, I guess you can call it, is just another D major. It's just a, like another octave or flavor of it, really, because we have here, we have the major 7. Right, and we have this note, which is the fifth, then we have the octave. So it's really just, imagine you just take a D major chord and just flip it. That's really what's going on here. So we're just doing 10th um, fret of the high E and the B. So you bar those two notes, and then it's 11th fret of the G. So it goes like this, sort of. I'm not going to show you every single thing, simply because I think if you want to learn it by ear, go for it. I'm just showing you the core stuff. Uh, the next chord. There's the other chord again, the slidey chord. And then we go down to this chord. 
Okay, you can see what I'm doing there. Any sort of hammer-ons or pull-offs I do are on the high E string, just to give you a hint. So I'll play that again very slow. Something like that. And then you go to the next chord. Okay. So I'm going to play that whole thing all together kind of slow, then up to speed. So it's going to be... And then up to speed, one, two, three, four. That was kind of sloppy, but you get the idea, okay? So just as a recap, we have D chord. D chord with a C sharp in the bottom. We have a G major seven. And then we have this A, oh, I didn't even name this chord. It's basically an A chord. It's an A with a, it's like an A7, actually. Something like that, right? And then this other slidey chord over here is just a D major, but flipped. Okay, so that's as much as I'm going to give you. That's pretty close. It might be a little bit off, I'm not too sure. So it's up to you if you want to really perfect the song, just listen to it, use what I taught you right now as a guide, and then go from there. <laughs> All right, so have a good one.